Well, another amazing day yesterday in gold. So congratulations to all the members and all the students for the trades yesterday. Hi, this is here from the trading mentors.com head trader for over 25 years. And we're looking at gold currently 1925 just about and we have a buy signal. One thing to notice here, we have a green zone. Now, when it goes green, we're looking for buys only. And the target for today is 1933. Extension 1942, the extension just simply means that the price is likely to be overextended at this price. So it is a less chance of being hit than the 1933. The current price, 1925.59 and moving up. Important points to note here, uh, first of all, the green, it indicates a buy, which is what we're looking for, and price above the central pivot, which indicates strength, and also above the 50-day moving average now, and um, moving upwards, and the Heikinashi charts have no wicks. If you don't understand Heikinashi, Ashi, I can hike an ashy charts then please go to YouTube and I'll explain there there's a video on there which uh, explains how they work and why they work so well while we're on the subject of gold we can see that the price structure charts have converted and all three charts are in a buy mode highly likely to continue might pull back we don't know in the event that it does pull back there is a buy zone. Let me explain the buy zones and the sell zones. So these are substantial areas of, in this instance, bit over, oversold at this stage, right at the very bottom. The risk to reward is massive if it does continue to fall down at some stage this morning. However, if it holds above the central pivot, then we expect it to continue. Yesterday, so for instance, let's go over yesterday's, we had a sell zone at 1930, which I put on uh, the members chat room yesterday, and it hit it pretty quickly, actually. But notice at the early morning, there was a red zone. So a red zone indicates sell. So the sell zone was 1930, and it bounced off it and hit our target of 1920. We then had a buy zone at the very bottom uh, yesterday, 1917. Didn't quite get there, come down to 1920. They went back up to 1930. So very mixed charts for gold. Nonetheless, there's great trading opportunities for you scalpers out there. So this is the long-term view of gold on the daily chart. As you can see, it's looking pretty pathetic, actually. Uh, after a big, big, bull run in uh, in January time, I think, uh, February. Um, now for March, uh, it's actually gone sideways and now into April and continues to be sideways. We'll take advantage of that with the lower time frames and be scalping it, but you can see here there's no sense of direction. Now hitting a green zone, which indicates the buyers are going to step in at some stage. Depends on Ukraine, of course, this is what's happening. Uh, Ukraine, nobody knows really what's happening with Ukraine. Um, let's hope it sorts itself out and then the price will fall. But uh, my prediction actually is the price is going to go up to $2,000, $2,069 in a couple of weeks time. So we shall see. Let me just take you through a few other charts, which is interesting. Um, Bitcoin. I know you've got, uh, we've got some Bitcoin fans out there. And we have, uh, we, I've done this yesterday. Um, if you've got the post yesterday on social media, we've now got a sell signal on Bitcoin if you're a Bitcoin fan. Um, sell at the top there, $48,000, currently $43,400. And this is going to go down. We've now got a sell signal here, a sell signal here, a sell signal here hit the red zone, which is a sell order, and heading for the green zone, um, probably going to go down to about $40,000 in the next few days. Staying on the theme of currencies, just for the moment, um, the US Canadian uh, 125.49 currently, which now hit a buy zone. A buy zone is where the institutions are getting ready to load up and buy. 
and we have a buy signal here on the RSI, but not above the 50 day, sorry, the 50 uh, water line there, like needs to go above that. And there's resistance here as well. So we may see this price fall back down to the buy zone where we'd be looking for opportunities. Target 126.50 in the next few days, extension 128 to the top of the uh, downtrend. We had a buy yesterday on the US Swiss on the lower time frames. We've got some profits out of it, but not much. It almost hit our target, didn't it, of uh, 93.50. But now it's uh, looking at the daily. We're actually looking for a sell on the US Swiss. Probably the US dollars going to be selling. So we would have, I've already done the maths on this one once it kicks in. Uh, we have a target somewhere down here at 91.50. But uh, for members, let me, I'll let you know once that's ready. The importance of the daily chart in this particular instance, you might not be a position trader. Many of you want to be scalpers or day traders. I know that. But nonetheless, understanding where the price direction is going for the next couple of weeks is really important. Let me just take you to the pound USD as an example of this not that it's ready to do anything at the moment but here we can see a buy here on the pound and this move here 132 uh, goes up to 137 nearly so that's 500 pips there now it doesn't mean you're going to trade this and be a be a carry trade or a position trader necessarily that's up to you but we had a sell here confirmed with all the indicators saying sell and this move here 135 to 130 that's 500 pips there so they're big moves however what you can do is take this information and put that into your day trades so if the pound is confirmed as a downtrend then you know which direction to go divergence is a very powerful thing i often talk about this and this is something that we're looking to do in the euro aussie this is a daily chart so there's massive divergence here it's gone too far is what it's saying and it's likely to bounce up and bounce up very very quickly so here's the situation as we speak we have positive divergence price moving down the rsi moving up this is and this is significant and also hitting the green zone buy zone here where the institutions are getting ready so what do we need to know before we go long on this? So one thing that has to happen, it has to break this downtrend line here before anything happens. The target for this is 151.80, currently 145. So there's 600 pips in this. So there'll be plenty of time to get into this and to hold the position for a day trade or even, dare I say, a position trade. <laughs> All the yens are looking top heavy. What I mean by this is that the price has now reached a level where it has to pull back and at least retrace. There's some divergence on the pound yen. So we'll be trading that again in the next few days. Once it starts to break down, we can see that this is the New Zealand yen and this is typical. And most yens are looking exactly the same. We're seeing divergence along the way. As the price goes up, the uh, RSI is going down. So this is an indication that it's going to break down in the next few days. So we'll be going into this, or at least one of them in the next few days. Last but no means least, the euro dollar looking fairly mixed, actually. But we're waiting for a buy on this as well, potentially. Um, we had a sell zone on the lower time frames. Uh, but a target 108.20 probably will come down to that kind of area in the next few days but this is going to bounce pretty severely is, is the, the chart is telling us it's showing some support here but we'll have to wait and see currencies are dubious at the moment because of the situation in Ukraine so we're a bit uh, hesitant with currencies at the moment we'll stick with our goal which is working out really really well from chris here at the tradingmentors.com have a brilliant day it's the 7th of april 8 14 in the morning